DJI Air 3S coming soon. Got that coming up next. Phil the Drone Reviewer here. Click the content of this video or anything on my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night, I hosted Rotor Talk Live and was joined by Mr. Marcus Crawford and Mr. Ron Braun. We spent the better part of the evening discussing all the latest regarding the leaks about the DJI Air 3S. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. We're going to move on to what we think, or who um, our good friend Hi Kesterloo had a great article out today and a partial video on it. And there it is in all its glory. Okay. Um, you know, and we saw we saw the the, the broken one yesterday. Now was that was that an Air 3S or was that a Mavic 4 that was broken, Bill? You know, that Ron, there, there's the sixty thousand dollar question right there. Okay. I don't know, you know, and look in this one right here. The, the area where the camera is is gargantuan. I mean, look at that. I mean, it almost rivals a Matrice right now, though, as how big it is, right? The, the area from the top of the drone to where the camera is, I mean, that's huge down there. That, that's just a huge area there. Bill, do, do, Bill, would you like a bigger Air Series drone? Would you, would you want the Air 3 to grow? You know... Yeah, that's a that's a sixty thousand dollar question, Ron. It, it really is. I mean, you know, is it going to be bigger now than than the than the than the Mavic Four, um, or the previous Mavic Three? Maybe the, or the Mavic Four is going to be even bigger. I mean, it looked pretty big in those broken. Uh, Marcus was, uh, you know, talking about how big the gimbal and camera looked last night. On that, on that on that Mavic, yeah, the one that. We, well, we we think it's a Mavic. We don't. Yeah, have. I think it's pretty clear that it is. What? Well, uh, I thought Lon had the right answer. The reason that that thing that gimbal looked like a flashlight in the front is so it can flip vertical. Good thinking. But yeah, uh, Lon was right. I watched you guys last night, and I think he yeah, was, Lon was right with that. Yeah. He really was. You I imagine think. watching that big thing flip vertical, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got it. Before we get off the Air Three here, though, listen, I got to tell you, you guys are talking about how big it is. One of my biggest disappointments in the Air Three is that it was so much bigger than the Air 2S. One of the things that I just loved about the Air 2S was how compact it was, and it fit in the same size bag. It would have fit in the Mini 2 bag. It, it, it would have, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and bigger is not always better. I guess I guess what I'm saying is I, I want all those features that the Air 3 has, but if it was still in the Air 2S size package, that would be... I mean, the biggest thing oh, about the size, the size gain is the ability that it handles so well in the in the wind and stuff, Marcus. I, uh, I, the, the size increase made it made it a champ for flying in in, in windy conditions. I suspect Ron, that's a right. great point, Ron. Yeah, that really yeah. is. Well, you know, you think about it too, and you look at the at the new Matrice series when they came out. Okay, and a lot of people call them like a. Um, I heard even someone refer to it as a pregnant or, or as a Mavic Three on steroids. Okay. Hey Bill, Jaybird yeah. is throwing some shade at me in the in the chat. Can you maybe eighty six him? Yeah, we, we don't need that. This is a drone show. <clears throat> okay, um, but yeah, I mean, somebody somebody had said that the Matrice looked like a Mavic three on steroids because it got so big. But yet, you know, and here it was the first time. You know, it was pretty much being able to fold it up. And you had everything, I mean, albeit it was like almost a suitcase, you were able to, care, you know, it was much more portable than the previous Matrices were. I mean, those things were gargantuan. So, you know, it had the ability with the folding arms this time with that. So maybe this is how DJI is proceeding with this. I mean, I'm just... Mark Weiss, made right the com Mark Weiss made the comment in the chat that the Air 3 is the same size as the original Mavic Pro. That's a good point, uh, Mark. Good point. Yeah, that yeah. that really is. Yeah. That absolutely was. So I mean, you know, one of the things that I that I instantly saw. Okay, when we're looking at at, at at this right here. Okay, I'm looking at the camera. And I'm looking at how big it is. Okay, in comparison to the rest of the body. Okay, the body 
you know, the top part of it, it looks like an Air 3, all right, you know, size-wise to, to me, just from eyeballing it, okay? But that length right here of the camera, that is completely off the charts, completely off the charts. Yeah. So do you, what, what kind of sensor do you think this guy's this guy would have well i mean if it doesn't have a one inch sensor nobody's gonna buy that thing bill oh absolutely I, I, I'm, I'm halfway that. joking you know we yeah. talked about that last night or whatever I, I mean i've done a, a comparison test between the air 2s and the air 3 other people have done it nobody's ever done a test that shows the one inch sensor on the air 2s looks any better well, you know, I'm also going to go to, and, and, and I do want to talk about this because I know, I think Dobo was Dobo was on a couple of weeks ago on Drone Nation, right? Um, Him and Lon were that the, the day, the weekend after they were in Margate City. and at Yeah, Italy. yeah, you they, they were on, you know, and I know Ken said something about, well, you know, there's no product in the hands of, you know, um, of, of reviewers right now. And that was maybe three or four weeks ago already. But again, that's a that's what I was going to say. That was three or four weeks ago. Okay, we're now at the point. You know, it's we're we're kind of progressing. You know, summer's in full swing here, and you know this is this this is getting to the point where you're they're probably going to be doing something. Okay, and especially when you start to see, and you know, you guys know how DJI. We we kind of know how DJI works right now. You know, these leaks are not accidental, okay? These are, you want to call them accidentally on purpose. Um, you know, they, they select who they have, send them out to, and they get out there, all right? And and again, and from reading that article, you know, it said this is where a number of DJI drones have been seen before, where they've tested them. So this kind of bears witness to all that. Is it an Air 3S? Is it an Air 4? Is it a Mavic 4? Yeah. Hey, hey Bill, before we get too far off the thing, you want to put, you want to highlight Mario Napa's okay. question. Maybe we can field his question for him here. It's uh, second to the bottom. Third to third from the bottom now. Yeah. Do you think uh, the Air Three S would have, have OctaSync as the Mini Four Pro? Which that would be OctaSync Four, if I'm correct, Marcus. Yeah, it is OctaSync Four. So I I would imagine. I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, I love Warren's comment there. The one you just, uh, uh, Akarasho. He's taking money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, yeah. his is still, most of his videos he posts are still in a mini too, I believe. Uh, well, but, you know, we all, we're all was, you know, it's funny, Ron. Ron and I had a conversation yesterday about how if there was no D new DJI drones this year, we'd be happy with what we have. But, of course, here we are discussing and waiting with bated breath for whatever the next thing is. It's fun. It's just well, fun. Well, Bill's right, though, because they're, te they're purposely teasing us with these yeah, leaks yeah. here. That get yes, us, uh, that's, interested. Right. that's right. Yeah, they're getting us excited. Uh, David Martin Grant says, I think the Mavic series should keep the same mid-size form factor. Do you think we'll in invariably see the Phantom series revive? There is a big question, Bill. Will well, the Phantom a, ever come Bill's back? Bill's the guy that'll know that one. That's a that's a that's a th that's a sixty thousand dollar question, David. And I'm going to say no. And I said one of the big reasons I'm going to say no is you remember. And, and I've had a number of inquiries lately. It's funny how I'll get a lot of questions about a drone, and I'm getting a lot of questions about the Phantom Four right now. And it's about people trying to find batteries for it. All right. And one of the things that I've told people is avoid Amazon, okay? Because there's a lot of aftermarket batteries for sale. And unfortunately, what I've seen in a lot of the reviews, they're coming DOA, all right? They're, oh. they're dead on arrival because they've been sitting for so long, what, two or three years probably. And they're, they're, they're only getting sold now because it's kind of like that cycle where people are starting to buy them. And what I've told people to do is to go out on DJI or ping DJI at support at DJI.com and ask them if they have any for sale. Um, that, that's how that I told him, I said, you know, you're, you're, you're shooting from the hip on Amazon. You know, you take, you're taking a chance with something like that. I think for the sole part, one of the big reasons why we'll never see another Phantom 4, do you remember Ron you and Marcus, you know how big that battery was. Okay. Oh, it, yeah. it was about as big as a mini drone. Battery how, about, how big the controller was when the whole the controller, my gosh, gargantuan. Okay. Um, so, which you know th they would they would tone the tone the, obviously tone the controller down, but you know in, even in the drone itself, okay, 
the whole series and the whole way of thinking, and this is just um, from my experience, David. Okay, when the Mav when the when the original Mavic came out, okay, they 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 made us DJ was making a statement. They wanted to be able to make things compact and easily travel, but yet you know be fully functional like a Phantom. And I think the days of the Phantom are long gone. All right, um, you know we're not going to see a drone like that again. And I think it's because. Uh, you know, the, the portability factor of the way drones are right now is off the charts. I mean, you could care, uh, you know, in a carry on bag, you know, and that's how I did one of the times when I went up to Ohio. My drone was in my carry on bag. I didn't need another case for it. it hey, right hey, in hey Bill, how about this? What, rank these for me the, of the possibilities of coming back the Phantom coming back series, the Spark series coming back, and the Tello series. Which one is the most likely to come back? And which one is the least likely? Ron, you left one out. You left one out. The Karma. Oh, well, okay, we're going we're going cross company. Throw it in there. <laughs> I'm gonna say karma zero, <laughs> zero out of zero for yeah. that one. Uh Phantom yeah. zero. Um yeah. and, and and I think they may come out with a new version of the Tello. The Tello um, two, finally. Uh, like a Tello two kind of a thing. Um the Spark, that may be something they might revisit, but I kind of doubt it because the whole idea and the whole concept behind the mini drone was to replace the spark. Okay. So I think if anything, I think you'll see, probably see a Tello two come out. Cause I think, for example, you know, I'm itching, uh, my granddaughter's already asked, asked grandpa, when can you get me a drone? Okay. Five years old. And I'm like, Oh, you know, my son, you buy a Tello two. Yeah. Something like a Tello two. I, 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 got an on it. I got an answer right here. Well, yeah, that's probably a good, that, that is probably well, a good 20 one, bucks. But. And I'm not kidding you. She'll have more fun with this little thing than you. <laughs> oh, it, it, yeah. Until she says, Grandpa, where is the record button? Yeah, well, there's yeah. no camera on it. Yeah. There's no, say, Grandpa, yeah, there's no camera on it. Video. But, but well, it does wants to flips. It does. I mean, it's it's really cool. See, it is very stable. Easy to fly. See, she wants she wants one like Daddy has and like Grandpa has. Okay. That's yeah. five years old. Okay. It's like, yeah. Ugh. Just, I would be, I would, my daughter and son-in-law, I would, I, they, I would be so much trouble if I got her the drone I wanted to get. I would want to get her a mini. Drone, Johnny like said we should, we should get the V-copters, uh, but Johnny, when's that V-copter mini going to, they, they say a V-copter mini is coming. What, 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 when's that thing going to get released? Yeah, see, Johnny said you guys should just get v -copter. Yeah, but I want the V-copter mini. We you know, Johnny should just start a, a V-copter channel by himself. I think I think it would do well. I what hey, do you guys think? Him, him and the other two guys in the US that own the V copter. Could, yeah, the other two yeah. guys in the United States that have the V copter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is absolutely hilarious. But um getting back to this, okay, price wise, looking at something like this, this is gonna be like like all booked out and decked out. And I know you guys kind of talked about this a little bit last night, you know. Getting getting like a fly more package with this. This is going to be four thousand dollar kind of material, guys. I really with with that camera. That's a Hasselblad camera that's on there, okay. And it's it's gonna it's gonna command a good price point. So you know, getting the fly more package with that, I think you're going to see four grand easy on it. I really do. Oh, so we're expecting a little sticker shock again. Well, they're, they're oh yeah, definitely, they're definitely pushing the Mavic up from in the prosumer more to the pro. And 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 it's it, they're definitely rejiggering where their drones all belong, and then they're moving that Air series up to the kind of the prosumer grade. Uh, it kind of how it's looking to me. Um. So, um, and say an Air three S with one in sensors and whatever could uh, re kind of replace the Mavic for a lot of folks. Yeah, that's what I especially I'd, at a much at a much reduced price point. Absolutely, Ron. I, I I absolutely believe that too. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. And then and then the and then the Mavic Four, if it's a Mavic Four, is more aimed at the guy. Okay, yeah, he flies for fun, but he's also doing weddings and real estate and things like yeah, that. For, for the Mavic Four, do you think they'll? You know, we're on OctiSync Four now. People are asking. Do you think the Mavic 4 will come out with a usual? It'll have OctiSync 4 Plus. I'll bet it'll have something improved, but it'll also, I bet it'll have a, a built in uh, dongle too, cellular. One of the things that you're going to see. Oh, and by the way, 
I know the dongles came out and they're available in Europe out on Build a Drone Reviewer. I posted some pictures of them, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But you know, one of the things that, that I wanted to say as far as far as that's concerned here, um, you know, w- with all of this, all right, you know, it's 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 a it's really kind of a big deal right now because I think you know, you know, notwithstanding, you know, the drone ban and everything else, okay. I think they're going to be moving forward with this. I think we're going to see it sooner rather than later, especially when they tease us with these kind of links. I would I would predict within the next couple of weeks, you may see something about it being on the FCC database and a picture uh, of the serial, you know, of the... This, this is the Air 3S bill there. we're talking about now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I, th- I think we'll see that. I think it, or Air Four or whatever they're going to call it. Yeah, or yeah, Air whatever, Four, whatever, whatever it's going to be called. I think we're going to see that. I think it's going to be in short order to be out there. Okay, and a lot of guys are saying you have to take a loan on something like this. But you know, <laughs> it's the old adage. You know, you know, uh, go out there on, on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or wherever, and you know, see what you can get for your for your previous drone because trade you know, up. There's always a good market on those. And you got to be careful in selling those. That's all I got to say about that. That just really, really need to be careful with that. But, um, you know, with with all this being said, okay, you know, it still kind of begs the question. um, You know, I know David Martin Graff asked me earlier before you guys showed up uh, about a Mini 5. And I made mention of the fact DJI has historically, and I hate using this word because, you know, they're as inconsistent as inconsistent is. But... You know, more often than not, they've released them around the November kind of time frame. All right. The only, like skip, the the only time they skipped that was the Mini 2. They skipped the beat and it didn't come out until the spring mm-hmm. uh, of the next of uh, the next year. Like they skipped the like a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then they went right back on the regular cycle with the next on that on that on that November cycle. So you know, it's kind of like all right. It's like Samsung comes out with their a phone in August. Apple comes out with with their phone and with probably a tablet in September and GoPro usually comes out with a, with a camera in September. Usually. I mean, these are like tried and true. And, and, um, mo- and a lot of the times they're mostly incremental updates. Exactly. Okay. Not some, you know, it's, it's like you, you look on these phones right now and it's just like, I looked on the, on the new Z fold six and I'm like, the only thing that's different between that and mine, it has Samsung AI on it. And that's it. There's nothing that's really that's, different. That's the, that's the buzzword. And Apple intelligence is coming in. Yeah, and uh, and, and, and uh, the, newer the Google Pixel, that's a, their big deal is they're building an AI. Hey, uh, I want to point out what Barkley is saying here about the uh, about the, the prices of drones, too. Uh, about the, uh, he's a couple more up there, though. Yeah, basically, whether you call it a tariff or a value-added tax. Yeah. Mass- same thing, but yeah. Now, Bill, if you if you bought the what's the drone company you have the Spectre drones? Yeah, from if, if you from bought the, the Spectre version of the new Air 3S, that would not have that tax because it comes from Malaysia, right? That's a good question. That is a good question. Well, no, I, I, that's a that's something uh, for me to email them about because I, I was going to be sending them another email because okay. An update on the accessories to let you guys know, okay? I went ahead and ordered batteries from them, but the batteries won't be, evidently, they're probably on a cargo ship right now that hasn't landed in port, okay? Because Amazon put up a date of August 4th to August 20th, a delivery date for those, okay? So those are kind of like that. Is that a slow boat from China, Bill? Yeah, I think it's on a slow boat from China, exactly. Uh, you know, because they can't, they really can't, obviously, you guys know they can't. They can't air freight them. They can't air freight them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So they got it. That's how they I have think They could. They probably wouldn't want to spend the money. Oh, yeah. 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 So, you know, but, but, you know, they're, but they're coming and that, and that's good news and that's a good thing. And, and it is a healthy alternative to like an air three right now. Uh, you know, they do have support here in the United States. If anything happens, you know, Warning work will be done here in the United States. It's not mailed out of the country. Uh, I was assured of that when I talked to them. And that's one of the things that I do want to ask them is, you know, coming coming up, you know, what do they have as far as future plans are concerned? So, And it usually takes about a good two or three days to get a response from both of them. So it's kind of like, you know, cross your fingers and, and, and toes and, and good luck and so, hey, a KC yeah. Crime Fighter Reviews is talking about uh, you know, gambling on, on when this thing's going to come out. And here's what I can tell you. Uh, 
until people like Casita Lev and Igor, when they start, when they have the box, when they start showing pictures of the box, you know it's real close. It's gonna be, it's gonna be yeah. soon. When they yeah. when they show you the side of the box, you yeah. know it's 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 coming soon. Until then, until they start giving you real specs and the side of the box, it's still a little ways out. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the big thing here, like I said, don't be surprised, you know, everybody. Within a couple of weeks, you'll get you'll see that it's out on the FCC database. That's that's a that's just a, a gut. Right and, now. and sometimes that happens before they leak those box pictures, and sometimes it happens after. Yeah, after, yeah. There's just there's kind of no rhyme or reason to or it. Like for instance, the FCC database for the mini, not not the mini, the Action Five Pro is out there, but there's still no uh, pictures of the box yet on it. Yeah, yeah. So, and you know what? I think that is wrong. I think they're waiting to build up enough inventory before they show they start they showing all the early orders. Yeah, yeah, because you know, and that's I, one thing I, mean, I have. No, to- I know we'll, we'll never know the figures on this, and we'll never have an accurate thing. This is all speculation. But how compared to the GoPro? What are the GoPro? How do you think the action sales are to the GoPros? Are they even anywhere close to selling as many of those units as the GoPro? Or are they way behind? I I think they're close, and I think. The, the, the gap is closed. I think that's why DJ has come out with a five as soon as it did, because I know of all the travails that Marcus had with his. Okay. And I think he, Marcus was, you, I don't think you were alone in your travails with your GoPro. I think a lot of people experienced that. You know what? I want something that works all the time. I don't want to have to sit there. This is an action camera. It's supposed to be rugged. It's supposed to withstand a lot a lot, you know, that you throw at this, okay? You don't want to miss the shot. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want to miss the shot. You know, yeah. for example, you know, I had my Action 4 Pro on, you know, when we were when we were up at up at the Ham Festival up in um Hamvention up in Ohio. Now, granted, it was it was in the, probably about the 80s or so. It was all day. I I ran that thing four or five hours. I didn't have a lick of problems with it at all. None. The whole time I was yeah, the Action 4 is bulletproof compared to almost anything else. Yeah, I mean, it really was, you know, and, and I know the travails you said last time, you know, with your last GoPro, Marcus, you know, people, people want something that works. People don't want something that, you know, you're going to have to send back and get warranty claim and warranty work on. And, you know, oh, and, no, in all no, fairness no. to GoPro, if you watch any of the people that reviewed the recent, the Hero 12, whatever, that the, the, even the comparison to Action 4 and just alone, it doesn't have as issues. Of some of the old, they resolved the, the, the most recent ones have been much improved in the area of overheating and shutting off. And so but, but who wants to take the chance is the thing. And, yeah. and but but here's what I think they probably sell a gazillion more GoPros than DJI action cameras is because it's the one that every they generically refer to an action camera as a GoPro. And yeah. I, I just think there's probably a ton of people. That don't even know that DJI makes an action camera, and some people s- still swear that the, you know, the stabilization is better than GoPros, and a lot of people still swear that the the video, the color science, whatever you want to say, is better on a GoPro. And and it may be, however, if it is, it's incremental, right? Right, right. You really have to look hard to see the the difference in those things. Yeah, yeah. So, well, guys, any closing thoughts for tonight? Uh, yeah, just that. Uh, just guess, keep, stay tuned for the whatever the action. The, the, not that. Well, the action too, but the um, the Air Three S. I mean, uh, you know, it, it may be close. It may be coming in um, August, but I mean, we don't have enough. Of the, the leaks and rumors aren't the point yet where I expect it that it's in imminent. a week or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so hold tight. You know, uh, uh, keep the piggy uh, the piggy bank. Uh, don't bust it open yet. Keep 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 dropping the pennies in there. But get that hammer ready. Yes, yes. To break be, be on standby with that hammer. And, and when that drone does come out, there could be a launch party on Drone Nation. There could be. There, there absolutely be. could be. You know, would... He could get his buy button out of the out of the uh, you know the 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 dustbin or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has been anything good to buy lately? Yeah, JAA, okay. the Mavic Pro, uh, you know, I it, we, we'll have to see what it even is, right? It, if it's too expensive, I probably wouldn't because I, I just don't, you know, I it, it wouldn't maybe not hit that sweet spot for me. If, if it's 
two thousand or twenty five hundred bucks, yeah, I'd be more inclined to buy it then. And of course, it depends on the features too, right? If it has something that I just think is got to have, I, I, I mean, inside it. baseball, any anybody that runs a YouTube channel, the more expected the drone is, the least amount of views and interest you're going to get on your channel from it. There's some truth to that, uh, but but also it's like. Man, I just love the technology and and uh, like to like to mess around with it. Uh, so we'll 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 see what they bring to the table. Yeah, and I you know it's like I said and like these guys said, you know we're we're probably a couple of weeks out maybe from having some more info on this, some more leaks. But when you start to see them, the ball's rolling. Like I said, these leaks don't come out without DJI's blessing. You know it, that it's just been. That's been the way it is, all right. And you know, the more we see, the the more the sooner we'll get to have be on the FCC database, and then you know we'll we'll be getting more information and more pictures of boxes, and then finally a release. And you know, it's going to happen sometime this summer. That's for Joe, sure. It could be like that old song from uh, back in the old days. See you in September. Yep. See you in September. And that's probably a, probably a good time frame, Ron. That that really that that would really make a lot of sense. Since Rotor Talk Live aired last night, Igor posted new pictures of the DJI Air 3S, and I wanted to go ahead and show that to you. Now, on the right right here is the original camera, the way it is right now on the DJI Air 3, and here is the reported camera on the reported DJI Air 3S, and I wanted to get this out here and show this to you as well. Question of the day, what do you think of DJI Air 3S coming soon? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, it's a great day to fly.